Hello and welcome to Elijah Special. Today we'll be looking at uh, one of the jobs I received recently and uh, it involved producing a vegetation map. So this may not be accurate but today I'll just be showing you how to basically uh, to reference this and then digitize it into the vegetation map which we'll be producing for this client. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now we understand that this uh, image right now is an image because it has no spatial reference this image has coordinate system coordinates on it but we're not going to be using that coordinate we will be using the boundary of nigeria which you can see here and this is the boundary of nigeria using the oscov data that's the office of the Soviet general of the federation so this has spatial reference so we're going to tie this this to this so let's get started. So if you just launch your ArcGIS desktop, you, you may not see your georeferencing tool here, but you can just right click on this hash space here and then you click on the georeferencing. Now once your georeferencing tool is out, you will come here and pick. Now it's currently on climatic map. So we're going to change it to vegetation. Okay, so now there is some vegetation or add control point. So on adding control point, uh, I'm going to use this first slope of the map. So I'm going to click any point here because I know how to identify it on this. So I'm going to zoom up here. So I'm going to zoom up and then this is the first slope. I'm going to tie it to this. Alright, so you can zoom back to S10 or you just scroll and uh, scroll down using your mouse. So the next I'm going to tie it through this uh, my degree side here. But this isn't representing the boundary of Nigeria, but anyway, let's just get it on. So I'm going to pick here and then I'm tying it to our map here. So we have something that looks like that portion. So I'll just click on and tie it on. So you can see that it has enter, but then it still hasn't really represented the work. So the fourth point I'm gonna pick is, I'm gonna pick this point. You now look at which point it will actually gives you uh, that entry point. So I think if I pick here, and tie it here is going to do more justice. So if you look, you'll see that within these three points we've picked, the georeferencing is becoming more realistic. So I'm going to tie here lastly with the fourth point. I'll click on this image and then I'll click on this site of Lagos. Right, so well, you can see that it has not really, really fit in because this two images are not of the same and the person who digitized this didn't follow the spatial rules but then we just want to tie it so that we'll be able to use it and get this uh, point out of it so i'll click the fourth, fifth one and tie it here so that it will have more adjustment to our work so <clears throat> i'm going to look at it again and maybe add more points so i'm just at this point and add it to this one. So I believe this will have an arbitrary point which should serve what we wanna do. So with this being done, I'm just gonna come up here and then I'll rectify this to reference it. So I'm gonna hit save and I'm going to also come back and update your referencing. Now that it's georeferenced, I'm going to click on select point. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do here is we'll create the future class. So I have a folder created for this under my work folder here. And uh, it's called new folder. And then inside the new folder, there's a project hack. It's an archaeological project, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to create 
So I'm going to click on the project folder and I'm going to create a new uh, geodatabase. This geodatabase, I'm going to name it uh, Vegetation. So I'm right clicking on the Vegetation geodatabase now to create a new future class. And this future class will contain the type of vegetation that are available in Nigeria. So I'm going to just say it's still the vegetation anyway. So it's going to be in Polygon. So the coordinate system will be in WGS 1984. And then I'm going to name it uh, Types so that I'm going to change this uh, data type to Short Integer. And I'm going to hit Finished. Now I'm going to right click on the Vegetation Future class and I'm going to Properties. So under these properties, I'm going to put subtypes. I'm going to click on the subtype field and change it to types. Now this type, what am I going to do here? I'm going to look at what type of uh, vegetations are available from this raster file here. So let's zoom up and look at what and what are available there. So I'm going to zoom up so that I see the names and I'll make an adjustment to it. All right. So we we'll hit the right click on it and then we hit the property again and we shift it here and then we come here and then we name it one so one of it is going to be uh, we have the Dell derived forest forest and two, we have Guinea Savannah. Three, we have Mangrove Forest. Then we have mixed vegetation. We have we just check to some mountain vegetation so that we don't we may not pick all of them, but we'll just pick the basic ones. So four. And then we have the mountain vegetation vegetation. Five will be the Sahel. Sahel Savanna. Then we have the Sudan Savanna on the six. We can the list can go on, but let's check okay which of them are evergreen forest seven. So we have to check those that are most important so that we worked on all of them. So I'll quickly just run through all of them and then get back so that we'll continue. So I'll fill in also, we have like 12 different vegetations. Now that you fill all of them in, you just hit the OK button. Now, it's creating all of them. So you remove the first one that came in and bring in the same vegetation back. Now you're going to see all the categories I've listed, 1 to 12. All of them are on this list. Now, what I'm going to do basically is just to hit on digitize. Let's say I want to digitize which one is dry forest. This are dry forest. This one's here, a dry forest. So once I, once I click on them, once I click on them, I will just start digitizing. All right, so now that we've created all the things we needed for this digitization, uh, if you don't have this editor on your tool, Sam, you right click here and you see your editor to you bring it out. So now mine is already here. So the next we're going to do is that we're going to hit the editor and start editing. Then we'll pick vegetation. 
and then we're okay. So we'll come to create future tools. Now anyone you pick here, you check from the legend here, and then if you want to do Sudan uh, Savannah, so the whole of them here are Sudan Savannah. So we're going to hit on them and we continue. So let's start with Sudan Savannah so that we can proceed. So I'm going to remove the state and I'm going to bring in the international boundary, which is the same thing as the first one. So I'm going to check which one is the Sudan Savannah, which is this. So I'm going to remove this, making it white so that I could be able to see what I'm digitizing. So I'm clicking on it and then I'll select Sudan Savannah. Since it's a polygon, we will start from where the Sudan Savannah starts from. And I'm going to hit the trace tool and then I'll click on the trace. And I'll begin to trace. So by the time I release my hand, it follows me. So any direction I go, it follows me. So it keeps following me and I'll keep moving. So when I reach here, I will pause and then pick the line two and then begin to digitize because I'm already on another type of the vegetation. So why we are tracing is because it is boundary and um, we have to trace it so that it will have the same boundary settings so that's why we're tracing then whenever you reach where you will need to digitize you pick back your line tools and then you continue digitizing so basically uh, i believe this will have gone a long way to showing you how you can do such things from your referencing to we've digitized the sudan savanna so i'll continue the rest without you guys and then if you want to practice you can pick these ones you can get this first one you'll be able to get the rest so thank you for tuning in to elijah's basha you know i always love you guys i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>